here's another idea for those of you who are going to take down your conventionally framed roof with ceiling joist and possibly a regular eight foot or nine foot wall with gable studs. This would be for a gable end suggestion. And that of course would be to use some type of ceiling beams. And someone just emailed me a question, wanted to know if they could do something like this, uh, but they said they got, you know, like an eight foot wall with gable studs, gable end. And if they just put the beams in, they're going to get the connection across from wall to wall this way, but you're going to have a nice wiggly wall here if you don't balloon frame it to where the wall framing studs go all the way up. So if you have a top plate and you're going to use beams like this for um, rafter ties, then a couple ideas in this video just might be helpful. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, the beam here sitting on some blocks and the blocks will need to be fastened somehow to the framing plate to get a transfer from the framing plate to the blocks and the straps of course are going to be used to connect all of this stuff together. Straps and then of course we have straps coming across here for the uh, ties that are going this way, the two by six or two by eight ceiling joists that we have. So remember the ties need to be every four foot on center. So you wouldn't need it like this necessarily. You would just need a strap every four foot, which is what we're doing with the beams. So here we have the beams going across and then some type of blocking to create a connection solid connection all the way over to the wall. And then, of course, you can use framing anchors or a variety of different pieces of hardware for something like this. Just throwing out some ideas, of course. Remember, as I suggest, I'm not an engineer. This is just an idea. Do with it as you please. And, of course, a strap coming down to connect this and a block, possibly, to make a stronger connection. You could always f wrap this strap around the top plates and of course, you could always put uh, two straps at the end here, too, if you have the room. And again, the gable studs on top create, create a hinge point here. So this would be a hinge point. I will put a link to what a hinge point is in the video here. The rafters, of course, are connected to the beams every four foot. <laughs> give you an idea. So something like this might work. Or another idea would be to use a solid beam going all the way across. And this, of course, might might be more helpful on longer spans. And I can't really tell you what a span, you know, uh, which one would require a beam, which one requ would require solid beams going all the way across this way or one across this way to where you're going to have beams on either side. Cannot provide you with that information. And then, of course, we're using hangers. The beam is coming all the way across without. And again, I'm just kind of throwing out some other ideas. You could block this again with some straps, um, but I'm also throwing out the idea of putting a solid beam across here. View it there. We're using hangers to connect the ceiling joist to the beam, supporting beam. Strap coming across. This is going to be necessary. You're going to need something to tie the rafter ties together to create a nice solid connection. And then we have some 4x10 hangers here. In my example, I'm using 4x10s. So again, another idea, solid beam with beams on either side. Now in this example, I located the beams, laid them out a little differently. And we have one up against the wall here. And I think something like this is going to help us create a nice, strong wall. Now, don't forget that you could always have, you know, here I have a beam coming across to the center. You could always have a beam positioned. And of course, this beam is positioned halfway. You could always have a beam positioned in thirds. So let's say this was a 30 foot long um, span. You could come in 10 feet and then have a beam coming across and then 10 feet and then have another beam coming across. And you can always split it up into fours 
or fifths if you needed. So, and you could always do that with blocking. You could have a solid beam here, have these beams running across, and then block across it, block across halfway through, and strap everything together to create a nice solid unit. So again, just another suggestion. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. So we move the beams over, and I have the beams to where they line up with the rafters. You can always relocate them and tie them to the rafters a different way. And I'll show you one of the couple ideas here in a second. So this right here again, seems like this would create or at least get rid of the hinge point. And then I just simply ran some framing anchors across the bottom there to tie everything together, 16 inches on center. So again, I think something like this would uh, really make an engineer happy. Again, we have these things strapped across the top to make a nice solid connection this way. There are our rafters to give you an idea. We're still using this four foot on center with the rafters. If this doesn't work for your layout, you can change it. I will give you a few ways here where you can at least move the beam over if needed and in this example I just went ahead and installed another rafter but if you do something like this and you're going to be remodeling you're not going to be able to nail the sheathing to this particular rafter so I don't know if it's going to do much good to install another rafter that you can't nail the sheathing to so just keep that in mind but something like this would work you could nail it to the beam you just wouldn't have the sheathing nailing Another idea would be to use some type of a spacer and then bolt it together. And here I have a board that is the width of the rafters, maybe a 2 by 10 and then a sheet of plywood or OSB, another spacer in here. And I simply bolted it together, a couple of bolts, ran them through so that I could get a nice connection to the to the rafter tie, which is what we're using the beams for. And that is it for this video. If any of this stuff makes sense, great. If it doesn't, feel free to leave any comments or questions in the video comment area, and I will answer them as soon as possible.